Tesla is creating their own ride hailing network. Well, I'm starting to see these headlines. But what's interesting is they're talking about something that Elon Musk said over a year ago. See, back in 2019, Tesla had an autonomy day for investors where they talked about their autonomous vehicles, what their future would be. It's a pretty long presentation. I'll make sure I link to it so you can find the portion where he talks about this ride hailing system. And the idea is that Tesla owners could add their car to the ride hailing system. And then because they're autonomous vehicles, someone else who has an app, a Tesla app, could request a ride and the vehicle would come to them. Now, he didn't go into too many details, but one of the things that he said was that he would expect them to be in at least one market in 2020. Part of the problem is with regulations and things like that and getting states to that. Well, let's let's reset. There are no federal regulations regarding fully autonomous vehicles. And so different states have different laws and even different municipalities in states have different laws. So this is difficult for Tesla to navigate when it comes to fully autonomous vehicles. But is this something that people are ready for? Do you want to get into a vehicle and let it drive you somewhere without someone behind the steering wheel? Now, what I suspect the deal was is that the ride hailing would be, hey, I would like to go for a ride somewhere and I would request someone's Tesla and then I would get in and drive it. And the only thing the autonomous vehicle would be doing is coming to my location. I have to admit, that sounds pretty cool. It's a great way to drive a Tesla when you don't own one. But I would be concerned if I owned a Tesla. If I had paid $85,000 for an electric vehicle, I don't think I would want it driving around without me in it. I don't think I would want just anyone getting in the car. I mean, what if there's an accident? What if the person damages the inside of your vehicle? How are you going to prove that they did it? Because, I mean, I mean, there's cameras and things on those vehicles, but are they going to really be able to prove the identity of the person in the vehicle? I don't know. Do you drive a Tesla for rideshare? I'd be interested in knowing that. Would you add your vehicle to the Tesla ride hailing network so that other people could just drive it whenever they wanted to? I'd be interested in your take on that. I think there is a future in, you know, we call them robo taxis, right? We've seen them in various sci fi movies. I think there's a future in that. But I think we're 15 or 20 years off before people are going to trust that they can just get in a vehicle with no driver and let it go, let it take them where they want it to take them. Hey, my name is John from Ride Up State, and just remember, if you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.